How's it going guys? My name is Ghost of Bilo, I'm Alex, and today guys, we're going to be doing a different type of video today. Now, most of the time I do cut comms, commentaries, and I don't know, sometimes just shenanigans videos. However, this time I'm going to do a different video, and I don't know if you guys like this or not, but someone requested a video where they want to know what class I was using in my delayed video that I published maybe three or four days ago, I believe. Yeah, like three or four days ago. Um, but anyway guys, I was just like, yeah, sure, I'll make the video, and here we go. So I wish you guys my Weeble class. And also, you know, if you guys are interested in using it too, that would be pretty good, you know, um, I'm not going to show you my secret, secret, secret techniques, because to be honest, you can have this gun class, you really can, you can use the same perks I use, the same, you know, gun class that I have, same attachments, but it's up to the player. Um, like I said, you can copy anybody's player tactics, but it's up to you. It's up to you, because uh, the reason I don't do this is because, like I said, you can, like I said, you can have the same classes as anybody you want, but it's your play style that works. If you're not an SMG guy and someone makes um, an SMG class, it's not probably gonna work for you. If you're an assault rifle and make an SMG class, it's probably not gonna work for you either. If you're an SMG player, however, you have a different type of play style and I have a different type of play style, it's not gonna work for you. So, you know, just keep in mind, if it doesn't work for you, it's just that we all have different play styles. Not everyone has the same sort of play style like everyone else. Everyone's different when it comes to playing Call of Duty. You know, we got them campers, we got snipers that are pretty freaking good even up close. And we got people that rush, you know, SMG players that you know, just also might even just hold down a certain location. We got all the players in this game. So like I said, it all depends on your play style. You know, my my class that I make is good for me because it's my type of play style works for my play style. Uh, so let's begin with this. So of course, we got the normal Weevil. Uh, what I add on it, first of all, a lot of people add suppressors in this game. Do not add suppressors. I know it takes you off the minimap, people can't see you, but suppressors aren't really the best option in this game. And when it comes to, you know, SMGs and also all, every gun category except snipers, suppressors affect the gun. It, it drastically affects them, however, not so drastically like the LMGs. If you put a suppressor on an LMG, you will go really garbage. You'll probably go like 12 and 24 probably. Um, but all depending on how your play style. Also, so I don't add any suppressor at all to my game. I like this comes from a guy that uses suppressors like in Ghosts, AW, Black Ops 2, um, Modern Warfare 3, um, Black Ops, uh, Black Ops, Modern for 2. You know, I used to use all suppressors. I'm a big suppressor guy. But in this game, suppressors will not work for you. It, it does not work for you at all. So you're going to add a grip. Now, like a grip. Like I said, this gun, you need to be very accurate with it because if you're not accurate with this, you'll probably not win any gunfights because this gun's damage really, really reduced. It's the lowest damage in any subclass right now. So add grip. It'll help you out a lot. Now, I add long barrel. Now, there's reason I add long barrels because most SMGs don't go up to, you know, if you don't have the best accuracy, you're not going to shoot you know, really good when it comes to long range encounters. Uh, I am very well at that. However, SMGs, you need, you need a, a little bit of a boost when it comes to range because SMGs are meant for up close encounters, not long range encounters. So if you're gonna use SMGs, don't sneak so close. Like don't go, you know, to a roof. You see a guy on like one of the balconies and don't like be like in the middle of that and try to fire from that. No, that's not gonna work, all right? Um, when it comes to this, I'm mostly like, Maybe not so up close, like in a building kind of encounter, more like a little open field sort of encounter, but it'll still work for you, right? Just don't go out there, you know, think it's a sniper, right? Um, and the last thing, this gun, like the reason they debuffed the damage on this is because of uh, of the fire rate. It shoots really fast, but uh, it doesn't shoot so fast where they should have debuffed the damage. So add more rapid fire towards it because it has to spray faster than what it normally does so you can get these quick kills. And lastly, um, this goes to my person, like this, this is just me when it comes to me, my play style, my type of player. Um, I don't use any lethals, I don't use tactical, I don't use secondaries at all, at all, depending on what class it is though. Um, so the perks I use, ghosts. Everyone mostly uses ghosts. Everyone uses ghosts. Why? Because first of all, you can't be detected by UAVs at all. Um, when you're playing SMD, people won't, like, they won't barely hear you at all and they won't detect you at all when it comes to planning or defusing a bomb even while you're controlling score streaks so people won't you know see you because there's something i don't know what perks does it but i think it's engineer where it shows you the location of your um the player that is holding the score streak and is using it so i don't know what perk you know does that i think it's engineer i believe it is but 
either way you know it'll help you that from that certain perk after that i add hardwire the hardwire is so helpful why because you're immune to counter av you're immune to a power core emp grenade smoke screen and you won't trigger trip mines shock charges c4 alarms so that helps so much when it comes to playing snd hard domination hard point any any type of competitive playstyle where you have to hold on a certain um location then after that there's also a counters to perks now it it counters a lot six senses like you really when it says like it'll reduce you know your in digital imprint imprint when it comes to six senses not really it if you have hardware on it six senses will never detect you at all I, I've come to that close to where it really doesn't detect you at all. I've played with people that you know have hardware and they, it doesn't detect you at all, to be honest. I don't know if you have to move around or something, but that's just my way. And like hardware really affects six senses a lot. Now, it also reduces tracker. However, it does not so much. Um, it might you know reduce the imprint, like it'll decrease um, decrease faster. It'll disappear faster, but it doesn't help it a lot. Where you know. It, it like six senses where it won't appear at all. So tracker is like a you guys still have to shelf from tracker. Perk three, of course, most important thing ever, blast suppressor. Um I, I don't know if you don't use this, um, then I don't know what's up with you, bro. Because if you want people to see you in the mini map the whole entire time, see a little circle, then yeah. This only this probably would only help if you're playing S and D you know like the competitive game modes. Um and after, that's mostly it. Um, but me, I always use it. I, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just used to it. I like being silent, being deadly. Yes, I'll have an uh, unsuppressed weapon, but that'll make me, you know, get out of there as quick as possible. And lastly, so we can encounter these Sixth Sense users, we're gonna have six Senses. Now, six Senses is probably, I, I didn't really use this perk a lot, like, in the beginning, but still, use it. So you already are, you're countering six Senses, people that use six Senses. However, you have it, so you can still see them either way. So, you know, it's a, it's a gain and a sort of non-gain. You know, people can have hardwire still, and a lot of people are gonna have hardwire, so you probably won't be able to use six, six senses a lot. But like I said, you know, yeah, there's sometimes where people don't, and these like some random perks that I don't even think like you should be able to use. But like I said, it's all from different people, different play styles, and different people use guns. It's just their play style. Um, so that's basically it. Um, that's my class when it comes to the Weevil. That's what I use. Um, that's basically it, guys. Like I said, if this doesn't work out for you, it's just because, like I said, it's my play style. It's my weapon category. It's how I made it because of my play style. Um, and that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, you know, creative classes, like, you know, maybe you need help with ICR or uh, the Havoc or maybe the AK, um, the a what is it, the KN90, KN44, I believe? Or maybe the M87, you know, um, mostly I work with SMGs because I'm a rusher. I like using SMGs. I'm not an AR person or a, a sniper or anything, but I'm, I've am i used assault rifles before and I know how they work. Um, but, you know, it's up to you guys. So if you guys want to leave any more, you know, create a class or just setups that you guys want to see for other gun categories or the gun specifically, uh, just tell me down below I'll, and I'll let me check it out. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll work, help you with that. Uh, anyway, guys, my name is Sebula and I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh